In this video I will show to you how you can speed up your development work by using Copilot in Muxed Fabric Data Warehouse to generate code, explain code, fix errors and add comments. This and much more covered shortly. Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover Muxed Fabric and Azure related topics. Today we are going to check out Copilot in Muxed Fabric Data Warehouse. I have been experimenting with this brand new Copilot during past couple of days and I can really see it benefiting and speeding up development work if you are using Data Warehouse as part of your Muxed Fabric setup. However, there are some prerequisites that have to be met before you can start using this feature. This feature is not available in trial capacities and you would need at least F64 or P1 capacity. Also, your administrator needs to enable the use of Copilot in the admin portal. But now, let's go to Fabric and check out how Copilot works in the data warehouse. Now I have a fabric data warehouse open here, where I have only this one table called data developer salary. In this table I have some salary information about these data related job titles. I have no idea how accurate this data is, since I just found this data set online, but we can use this to demonstrate the capabilities of Copilot. If you have the Copilot enabled, it can be found here in the top bar. And we can click this Copilot to open this chat with that Copilot. And here we can chat with the Copilot and for example request it to do some queries for us. And I have already prepared one prompt that I'm going to ask about this Copilot. So generate a query to calculate the average salary in USD for each job title in the data developer salary table. Let's try this one. And now Copilot is working on it and let's see what kind of query it will provide. And it finished really fast and it provided us with this query. And it also gave us this step-by-step -step plan what is happening in this query. So now we can try to run it and see if the copilot managed to get this query correctly. And let's see. And here we have the result from that query. So it seems that this query worked fine. And by a quick glance it seemed to be correct in my opinion as well. But yeah, this is a cool how you can use the Copilot to generate some queries for you. And now we can try to use a bit more complex question for the Copilot and let's see how it can handle this query this time. So we wanted to generate a query to retrieve the records of employees whose salary in USD is higher than the average salary of all employees in the same company location. This should be already a bit more complex query since I think it has to use sub queries to produce this result. But let's see how it can handle this and let's send this message to Copilot. And let's see what it will provide for us. And here we have the query that should do the trick. In my opinion it seems to be correct and what I wanted. And again we have this step-by-step -step plan here. And now we can try to run it and see what happens. Oh, it didn't work, so it is not entirely correct. So we get this arithmetic overflow error converting expression to data type int. And now we can use this error to demonstrate another feature about Copilot. But before we do that, I would like you to know that I spent a ton of my free time creating these videos for you. And that's why I would like you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Muxed Fabric content. It doesn't cost you anything and I would highly appreciate that. But now let's continue with the co-pilot. So the feature that I want to demonstrate to you is my favorite feature about this co-pilot. And it is this fix feature here that will actually fix errors that you have in your code. Basically, we can now click this fix button here and see what happens. And now it will start working on a fix to this issue. And let's see if it can get it correctly. And it says auto fix, no errors found. So I think it didn't make any changes here. So let's try to run this. It doesn't still work. I think the issue is related to this average that it's calculating here and it 
is giving some overflow errors. But this is also a good point to demonstrate that this copilot is not perfect yet. I'm not going to cut out this from the video because I want you to see that it, it's not perfect and it can make some errors and it cannot fix everything. Since it is the co-pilot and you are the actual pilot guiding the ship, so you shouldn't trust this thing blindly. But yeah, let's try another thing with this co-pilot. I prepared this SQL query that I have here and it has some errors here and there. So this query is not correct. Let's try to run this first and we will get some errors incorrect syntax near data engineer and let's try to fix this now with this fix feature and let's see what happens okay now it fixed the error there and it also formatted our query a bit better and again let's try to run this and now it works it also spotted my other error there that there was also a missing comma there and now this provided the result that we wanted so this is a demonstration where the fix feature works well in my previous testing with this copilot i have seen the fix feature work relatively well and i would say it's one of the best features about this copilot since how many times i have written an sql query and there has been a tiny mistake somewhere and then it takes some time for me to locate that but with this copilot you can locate that fairly fast in many cases though this fix feature in my opinion is the best thing about this copilot so far and there is also one more feature about this copilot that i want to show you so we can basically highlight this query and click this explain button and let's see what that does and now it is running and let's see what happens. Basically it adds some comments to this code and comments what's happening in this query. So this could save also a bunch of time when using this feature to add these comments here to the code. Of course this commenting is a bit technical and only kind of describes what is happening in the query and not why things are happening. That is usually the more important thing to comment or document about the code. Like we saw in that demonstration, Copilot has a lot of cool features and it will speed up your development work if you are using data warehouse and you are able to access it. However, the Copilot is not perfect yet, but I can see that it's a step to the right direction and when it gets better, it will speed up the development work even more. If you'd like to learn more about Fabric, check out this video next. Now, I thank you for watching and see you in that video.